my 2021 Dodge Ram pickup. Lights came on across the dash, the vehicle stalled, and I had to coast over to the shoulder. My vehicle had now been in the shop for almost two months. I told them I wanted the vehicle bought back and or replaced. It went to arbitration, and the arbitrator ruled in my favor to uh, replace the vehicle. And at this point, I will never buy another one. End of October, I was on my way back home to Idaho from California, approximately 185 miles north of Las Vegas, Nevada. I had just pulled out of a rest area and my 2021 Dodge Ram pickup. Lights came on across the dash, the vehicle stalled, and I had to coast over to the shoulder. The vehicle had approximately 26,000 miles on it. I made contact with Ram Roadside Service. They said they were going to tow it to Ely, Nevada, um, which was the closest Ram dealer. I tried to make contact with the Ram dealer in Ely, Nevada. The phone would ring about five times and then disconnect. I was able to get uh, internet access and discover the dealership was showing closed. Um, I recontacted Ram, Ram Roadside Service, told them that dealership is showing closed. Uh, the vehicle is going to have to be towed to Las Vegas. They told me, well, if you want it towed to Las Vegas, it's going to cost you $1,900. Um, so I, con I contacted the Las Vegas uh, Chapman Dodge dealership in Las Vegas, Nevada. The service writer that I talked to said, no, have the vehicle towed here. I have a feeling I know what the problem is. It's a high pressure fuel pump that they go out and disable your vehicle. Um, the gentleman at Chapman uh, Ram was very helpful. Um, I recontacted Ram Roadside again. They were insistent that if I wanted to tow there, it was going to cost $1,900. Um, and they still hadn't located me a tow truck. They said, nobody's available. We'll get back in two hours to see if there's anybody available. I finally went in and decided I was going to use my AAA card and have the vehicle towed to Nevada. Um, after five and a half hours, I finally got a tow truck there. Um, very helpful service. They got me towed to the dealership in Nevada. They had the vehicle for approximately three and a half weeks, said the vehicle was fixed. While all this was going on, I was in contact with U.S. customer care through Ram. My vehicle had now been in the shop for almost two months. I told them I wanted the vehicle bought back and or replaced. They came back to me and told me, no, Ram says they're not going to do that. Um, they weren't helpful at all. I said, well, I wanted going back to the buyback team to reevaluate it. They said, no, we're not going to do that. She goes, if you want that done, there's a card in your owner's manual that you can do that. And I told her, my vehicle's in the state of Nevada. I'm currently in the state of California at a rental house that my wife has that she keeps for work. They said, well, too bad. It'll cost you $150 to get you another owner's manual. I'll send you the link. So after time, I jumped online, was able to locate a company called NCDS. It's an arbitration. They basically present your case to arbitration. NCDS was very helpful. December 20th, it went to arbitration, and the arbitrator ruled in my favor to uh, replace the vehicle. Initially, while all this was going on, Ram said they were going to cover my rental cars, my flight to go pick up the vehicle in Nevada. Um, arbitration came through, ruled that. Ram approved my part of my travel expenses of $808. Um, once they said, oh, well, it's gone to arbitration now, we're not paying any of that, and blew me off on that. Uh, dealing with uh, the the replacement coordinator with Ram, I've gone into nothing but problems where we weren't able to order the eco diesel, which my vehicle had. The next in option was $2,500 cheaper to go with the Hemi V8. I said, well, there's $2,500 there. Can I apply that towards options on the vehicle to compensate the $2,500? They said, no. I said, then what am I supposed to do? They said, well, you're going to eat that cost. So they didn't tell me that. I, I asked them, do you get back to me right now? Because I'm at the dealership that has agreed to replace the vehicle. And we're in the process of ordering the vehicle. 
He didn't get back to me when I was at the dealership. So I went ahead and placed $2,500 in options on the vehicle, upgraded uh, a couple of packages. The next day he came back and he said, well, we're not paying for those. It's your responsibility to pay for those. I said, well, the motor that I had to put in there because you didn't have the other motor was $2,500 cheaper. He says, well, that's your problem. And it's just been nothing but headaches dealing with this whole process. Once again, my vehicle is sitting in the shop, still not fixed right, because once I got it back from Chapman Dodge in Las Vegas, there was still an issue with it. I brought it to a California dealership. And they said, well, there's a problem with one of the injectors. We're going to have to keep it now. So they've had it for another three weeks. Um, and, and it's just been problem after problem dealing with the vehicles. What I'm going after is for them to pay for the rest of my travel expenses that I had to have my wife drive from California to Nevada to pick me up when the vehicle broke down and bring me back to California. Plus the tow truck, I had to order the tow truck myself because of Ram Corporation not wanting to tow it to Las Vegas. In addition to that, I want the reimbursement of the $2,500 that they're trying to make me pay for those upgraded options, even though they didn't provide the motor that was available originally for it. The most desired outcome is get me my replacement vehicle in a timely manner. And, and that's it. I, I don't want to deal with them anymore. It's been nothing but headaches, this whole process. And I just want it to end. Ram can, can improve their customer service with their customers. I recommend not buying any Ram product. There are plenty of vehicle manufacturers out there. And I, I feel Ram Corporation is basically being the bully on this situation. They lost an arbitration case and they're going to do whatever they can to make the process with the replacement or buyback process as tough as possible. And no consumer should have to put up with that type of situation. When you ask to speak to a supervisor, when you ask to speak to somebody in management, transfer the case over to that. And what we've run into is they don't want to give emails addresses out. They don't want to give phone numbers out. They don't want to allow you to contact anybody that's over them to that has authority to streamline the process, that has authority to approve these type of situations. We've been told no so many times. And I've got a background where I diagnose PTSD and anxiety. And getting into this situation just aggravates that and it makes it to where I'm going to throw my hands up and just give up. So management needs to listen and provide, you know, numbers for these people to move forward up the ladder at RAM to handle these cases.